know, this might just be the worst light ever to film in, but I'm going to give it a go. It's pitch black outside. I've been meaning to film this all day, but I've had a very, very busy day. Um, I have been at loggerheads with Phil. <laughs> Phil and I have been papering the bathroom ceiling which is a lot easier said than done. It was an absolute nightmare and it's taken all day. But fingers crossed, it does look good. I'm happy with it. I just hope when we wake up in the morning, it's all on the floor. But anyway, so this video today is, it was my birthday on Friday. Then look what I got. Oh, what's in here? This is so exciting. Oh, what's in this bag? What's in this bag? What's in this bag? A little pussy cat, he cannot resist a bag. Are you going to pop up and say hello? Are you? Are you going to say hello? Oh, let me give him a little wee wee. Oh, oh you're too heavy. You're too heavy for a paper bag. Anyway, it was my birthday on Friday and I do feel a bit uncomfortable doing a what I got for my birthday video because it seems a bit, oh look what I got for my birthday, aren't I popular? I don't want to do that. So this video is going to be a Christmas gift guide because in a couple of my other videos, I was wrapping presents or I'd been shopping or, and I wanted to show you what I bought for people and I couldn't just on the slight off chance that anybody in my family um, or my friends watch my video. That is not including Fiona because I know Fiona always watches my videos. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, but I haven't bought you anything yet anyway, so you're fine. So anyway, so this is going to be a, a gift guide for your mum, your sister, your auntie, you know, that sort of woman around my age kind of gift guide. So I will show you what I think a perfect presence. So I'll start off with sort of smaller gifts that are just really lovely to get. I mean who doesn't love a pair of soft bed socks? So these are bed socks which I really need in this house because it's freezing but any socks are lovely. I particularly love bamboo socks. In fact I've said that this next year I am going to, I've got so many hundreds of pairs of socks but I'm going to cull my sock drawer and only buy from now on bamboo socks. These are not bamboo socks but these are in a different category because these are bed socks. Who doesn't love a fresh new pair of socks or knickers? So they're a great present. Also jewellery. Now jewellery can um, you know, you can buy really fun jewellery that isn't expensive. These were from Next and I don't know where these were from. Uh, but a pair of earrings, I mean, God, you could get a pair of earrings for a fiver. I'm not saying these were a fiver, but um, that would be a fabulous present for someone. Look at this. I've got this matching set here. This is quite spectacular actually. It really is. If you couldn't afford the set then the earrings on their own would be just as lovely. Look at this. Can you see it? So another gift that I always think is really nice, just because they're so special, are Christmas decorations. And I got a few here, look. These nutcrackers and these pink sort of jungle animals. I've actually bought quite a few this year for people, Christmas decorations, because 
like one Christmas decoration, if it was about £10, you might not want to buy that for yourself. Um, you might think that's a bit extravagant. But if you get it as a gift, um, I just think it's lovely and it's something that you would keep forever and you would always remember the person that had bought it for you. So I think that's a really nice gift. Going along the Christmas theme, look at this. The Holiday Express Water Globe. Isn't that just magnificent? Now who wouldn't adore that? Hang on, it slots together. I just think this is fabulous. Right, the other thing that's always a great present for somebody is a beauty product. Now, I've got a couple here to show you. I swear by this Olaplex shampoo, and but it is quite expensive. So I think to get that as a gift would just be fantastic. You know, maybe not everybody will buy this for themselves because they don't want to spend like 20 pounds however much it is on shampoo but it really is worth it well i think it is i think my hair i think it's due to this and that rosemary oil that i use but what a lovely present well i think that's a lovely present and this this is expensive though this is the eve Lom cleansing balm and it's just gorgeous but I mean it's quite a small box so the thing inside is going to be even smaller and I know that that's expensive but there are alternatives I've just been using a pixie one from Marks and Spencers it's an oil cleanser and that's not expensive and that's really lovely as well so any sort of beauty product face mask exfoliator I think they would all make a really lovely present and of course candles who doesn't love a scented candle I am obsessed so here's a couple here I've seen these in garden centers this one's called fairy dust and look can you see inside I don't know if you can um it's got little well, I thought they were crystals, they're not. I don't know what they are, but it's very, very pretty and in a really cute little tin. And I, I personally cannot get enough of scented candles. This one is fabulous. This one is from Oliver Bonus. Bonus? Oh, bonus? Bonus? You say bonus and I say bonus. So look at that and it smells divine and what a gorgeous little pot to use afterwards to keep your earrings in or any bits and pieces, odds and sods, bits and pieces. I think that's just gorgeous. I cannot believe there would be anyone that wouldn't love receiving that for Christmas. Another gift idea who doesn't adore chocolates especially lint chocolates if you've noticed everything else i left unopened but i did have to open these <laughs> but oh chocolates nuts any foody thing i'll tell you what i've bought the last few years Usually for men, I hate buying presents for men. Um, I find them really difficult. Yes, yeah, so in TK Maxx, they've got these really fancy, about this big, um, packets of fancy pasta. And it could be, maybe there's great big snail shells this big, or rainbow colors, or colors of the Italian flag. They're just really fun. And I often buy those. Um, I've always got lots of ideas for women, so I don't resort to pasta. I even bought my little nephew some um, dinosaur pasta shapes. <laughs> I don't know what I thought of them, probably not much being like six years old. Anyway, uh, on the same theme of foodie gifts, this, oh, Wittards. So they do gorgeous, go this one is delicious. This is Dreamtime Instant Tea. I dread to think what score it would get on my Yucca app. 
uh, but it's delicious and they do loads of the hot chocolates so you could get caramel hot chocolate strawberry shortbread hot chocolate white hot chocolate so what a lovely gift you could put a little bag of marshmallow on the top as well couldn't you okay another great present well this is what i think you, you'll probably laugh at this cds i'm not sure people listen to cds anymore they've all got it's on their phone but I don't do that that's too techy for me so I personally love a CD and this one is the uh, minor all musicals of course but this one is the London recording of Sunset Boulevard with Nicole Scherzinger as Norma Desmond <gasps> I mean I know just off the top of my head for Christmas I'm desperate for the Beetlejuice CD I'd like the Bonnie and Clyde CD. You know, if they're just, for me, I can put it in the car and I can bring it home and I can find, I don't know, I just, I can't be doing with the finding music on the phone and then trying to play it through something. So I think a CD is a great Christmas present, but you might be far too high tech for that. Or not even high tech, far more sort of with it than I am. Another great present, who doesn't love a book? So this one is the latest Richard Osman series and I've read all the Thursday Murder Club books and they're my favourite book, well not my favourite favourite but like in my top five um, favourite authors. So this is a new one, I haven't read it yet um, if it's anything like the Thursday Murder Club books, then I know that I'm not going to be able to put it down. And don't they just make a lovely gift? My mum always, whenever she gives me a book, she always writes in the front, which is quite nice. But then one year, I think my brother um, decided to re-gift a book and when they opened it on Christmas Day, it said, to Andy, lots of love, Mum and Paul, <laughs> which was quite funny and we've never let him forget it. But anyway, a book is a great present. Oh, again, along with the CD sort of thing, DVD. Now, I'm not expecting anybody to go out and buy DVDs because even, even I'm too high tech for DVDs. It's just this particular one, it's really old and you would never get this on any of the streaming uh, channels, whatever they're called, Netflix or anything. This is really, really old but me and my mum are obsessed with this and Freddie actually. In fact, this, Till We Meet Again, Courtney Cox plays Freddie and that is how I fell in love with the name Freddie. So it was watching this. Me and my mum have been watching this for the last 40 years and we haven't seen it for years because she had it on the free CDs that I think the Daily Mail used to put on the mail on Sunday and she never had the first one so we always used to watch it from CD like CD 2 to CD 6 so we've never actually seen the beginning so I can't wait to watch this but that's just me okay now this is a funny one you might not be able to buy shoes unless you know someone very well but these were not expensive I know that oh look she's left the price on these were 16 pounds they are stunning so Freddie got these for the models to wear on the flossy shoot and I don't really wear high high heels anymore they're so uncomfortable and they come in pink as well 16 pounds Primark and they're quite a generous fit so I just think these are gorgeous. I'd like to try them on, but my toenails are all chipped and revolting. So I might try them on when I've had a pedicure. <laughs> right, going on to a slightly more expensive gift, I think. Um, well, not really, because like, for example, a candle, you could pay four pounds or you could pay 
a hundred and well 400 I mean it's honestly some of the candles that are in Liberty and Selfridges are just I can't believe anybody would actually pay that but you can spend a fortune on a candle um, so but anyway I'm going blah, 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 aren't I again Okay, so another gift that I just think is fabulous. I personally already have two or three of these and I have bought these for friends because I just think they're the nicest thing. It's these Elizabeth Scarlet makeup bags. They don't call them makeup bags anymore. They call them everyday pouches because it doesn't have to be a makeup bag. I use my green one with palm trees um, to put my vlogging camera in and I put it in my bag and that's my camera bag. Um, I've also got a wash bag that I use as a handbag because it's too nice um, not to show off, it's got a handle. But this one I will use as a makeup bag and I am just obsessed with this. I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love this. All the Elizabeth Scarlet things are just beautiful. There's eye masks and um, I can't remember what else, but look at Elizabeth Scarlet's website. It's gorgeous. So another good gift would be a smartwatch. Now these do really vary in price. I don't know how much this one was, but this one wasn't a cheap, cheap one, but it wasn't an expensive, expensive one like an iWatch. This was very cheap. This was about £25. They're really handy. I really love it and I'm not techie at all. But I just like to know how many steps I've done every day and I like to know if my heart rate's going up when I'm at the gym and, and not, nothing too technical but take it for me but i think that's a lovely present oh my god if you want to splash out a little bit this is well do i have to say any more i just adore this i absolutely love it so obviously it's a shower cap but i might be quite tempted to wear this out. Oh my God, the other day when I was shopping with Phil, we went into Free People and, um, well, Phil really put me off. They got these like Victorian bloomers with a big lacy edge around the bottom. I thought they were wonderful, but Phil just looked at me as if I'd completely lost it. And he took a picture of me in them and sent it to Freddie and Coco and they were just like, oh my God. So I didn't get them, but if I had, I would wear them with this cap. I think they'd look very nice together. So that was my Christmas gift guide. I hope it gave you a few ideas. Okay, look out for my bathroom um, video. That will be coming after this one. Okay, see you next time, bye.